My name is Jessica Trancic, and I'm a professor at the Institute for Data Systems and Society at MIT. There are a lot of terms out there like radical innovation or disruptive technologies, and those are interesting concepts and interesting terms, but it's really important for us to be able to measure these characteristics of technology and then also to be able to anticipate in advance whether something is poised to become a radical or disruptive innovation. And so I think the, the unique thing that my course brings to the table is um, what students will get from it are a set of tools that allow them to measure technological progress, to identify rapidly improving technologies, and then to develop and apply predictive models to say, ah, oh, okay, I see the data on performance of this particular technology. As a company, um, and as really any decision maker that's investing in technology, either public or private, I think once you can do that, you're really um, in a good place to be very competitive in today's market. The way the course is structured is uh, in three different types of course material. The first is lectures delivered by me. The second, uh, we pursue hands-on exercises. So if we cover a model, then I'll share with the students a version of that model that they can that they can use and they can get hands-on experience using that model, applying it to a question of inter interest in their industry. And then we also have some time for discussion of specific examples and challenges that are faced in different industries where technological innovation is happening very rapidly or it's not happening fast enough or there are challenges with predicting it and so we troubleshoot those issues together as a class. I think in today's world whether or not you're working with data and quantitative models it's important to understand the concepts and the, to, to gain the knowledge that these models are um, allowing us to tap into. And so the course is more about getting that knowledge and that insight. It's less important exactly how far you go in the quantitative material, but really I want to share that knowledge with students from a variety of backgrounds that are trying to predict technological innovation, understand how technologies are changing, you know, understand how it could be measured either by them or by somebody else. And so these are the concepts that I'll focus on.